Hey babes, how y'all doing? I wanted to give you guys a special shout out and a thank you for 50,000 subscribers. A few days ago actually, we hit 60,000 subscribers pretty quickly. I didn't expect this at all. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. When I started YouTube, I didn't really expect it to get anywhere. I just kind of thought, well, I could get more viewers on my Twitch channel through YouTube. Well, my YouTube is doing pretty well and you guys will definitely get more content from me on YouTube. But if you want to see most of my content, it's usually live streamed on Twitch on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash cheese. So be sure to hop over there if you want to see me live and uh, enjoy the video. There will be more. See ya. I started playing in April 2014. Oh my god. I th oh my god. I've been... It's gonna be seven years soon. I thought it was gonna be six years soon. It's actually seven. <gasps> April 2020 was six years of playing this game. Holy fuck, I can't believe I'm almost playing Mario for seven years. I mean, I took a 10 month break last year and I took multiple breaks before that. So I have not been playing this game for seven years, obviously. Probably around five years, maybe even slightly less than five years in total, but yeah. Wow. What? I was, l literally the words were starting to come out my mouth. I was about to say, man, this is such a good 100 coin. As I opened my mouth, I made a mistake right away. Where are the major time saves in basement? Every split in basement has at least five second time save. Let me just put it that way. Even HMC 100 has a nine second time save. So it wasn't a bad basement, but it wasn't great either. HMC is usually a consistent time save because it's a relatively i'm not gonna say anything because i know if i say this i'm gonna have the worst hmc ever today i'm gonna say it anyway fuck it hmc is a relatively easy stage shouldn't have said it so i usually save time on it hmc has been a lot easier than lll lately and it's always known lll was always known as like the easy stage of 120 star i know i fucked my whole entire run up every run for the rest of the day i know but fuck it but fuck it Oh my god! Shout out to Risa, babe. How about a big HMC BLJ for love? Okay, maybe I should start learning HMC BLJ. I'll just take off my shirt before I do HMC BLJ so I won't have to rip them all off when I inevitably miss them every time. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do BLJs. Like, as soon as I start holding back, my finger immediately stops hitting the A button. I don't know why. But I could go for it. All right, guys. I want to start a poll soon enough because uh, one of these days I'm gonna be streaming the pre-recorded spliced 120 star world record of 138.20. So after that, I would like to start learning a new speedrun or maybe going back to another speedrun. I think I'll want to push for the 137 though, but I am also interested in other speedruns. So I think once I do create the poll, it would be probably between like Ocarina of Time, Odyssey, something else, Sunshine maybe. I'm still on the fence about learning Sunshine, maybe not. What speedrun do I really want to do? Ocarina of Time. I'm definitely most interested in Ocarina of Time, 100%. I want to go back to Hundo. I just hate playing on the Wii, but I mean, I just have to do it. I knew that I was going to fail. I should have known. I mean, I should have just tried it again. I, I don't want to stop playing Mario. Let me make that clear. Um, but like, again, I don't even know how long it's going to take to get a world record. I also do probably want to go for 137. I definitely want to be the first person to get 137, but no one knows what's going to happen, you know? But like, I want to try other things as well. Maybe even learn blindfolded, you know? But like, I also want to do other games as well. Do I have an aim for OT Hundo? Probably to get sub four hours in no SRM. And then see what happens after that. Because Ocarina of Time on N64 is not the fastest version anymore by a lot. The Wii version is a lot faster. Someone needs to like start a petition to send to the guy that promised a thousand gifted subs for the person who breaks world record by 20 seconds by the end of January to just change it to just breaking the world record. Because br <laughs> the difference between breaking 120 star world record by 20 seconds and just breaking the world record is gigantic. And I don't think he realizes. We need to convince him to just change it to change, just breaking the world record, regardless of by how much time it is. Breaking the world record by 20 seconds by the end of January is... would actually be like... that would be like a notable moment in speedrunning that no one would ever forget kind of thing. 
I definitely want to get into the next Mario game that comes out. There's no doubt about it. And I think I might actually just wait for the new Mario game as opposed to running Odyssey. Because Odyssey does really fuck with my hands and I kind of forgot about it. On Mississippi 2, dude. Odyssey was the reason why I got tendonitis in the first place. So it's probably not a good idea that I really speedrun the game. What are American sex ed classes like? What do they teach you? We had sex ed class in Trinidad. And it was basically just talking about penis and vagina. And how babies are born and how your penis gets hard when you get horny. That's basically what it was. And abstinence. Yeah. Oh, so it was the same thing then. So just religious. Okay. Got it. So nothing to actually do with sex ed. Just telling you not to have sex and putting on a condom. Alright. I mean, that's important to teach, I guess, but like, I don't think it's that hard to figure out how to put on a condom. I don't think it requires our full class to teach you how to open a condom and put it on, but alright. It depends on which state. Yeah, I guess that's true. So in other words, like a lot of the southern states like Alabama and Texas and stuff, they teach you about abstinence and don't do this, don't do that. And then other free states like California or something would actually teach you about gender and LGBT and all that fun stuff. Oh, okay. Kali doesn't. I've watched you so much that my girlfriend is in love with you. I'm also in love with your girlfriend. They taught pretty much all the sex stuff when I was in it. Okay. That's good. I guess. Well, it depends on what you mean by sex stuff. Videos of childbirth? What the fuck? I feel like that's a little bit unnecessary. What? That is so weird to me. Why would they show... Basically porn and then a baby being born. That's basically just to scare people to not get pregnant. I mean, obviously, that's exactly what it's for. But they never did that in Trinidad. They just talked about it. Ours was with a cow. What the fuck? Do you live in Kentucky? Where bestiality is, like, legal? They might be into that kind of stuff. Yeah, Punky is from Kentucky. No wonder he watches, like, tentacle porn. Really, dude? They ask you how you are, you just have to say- I've seen good videos where, like, people are trying to change the whole sex ed theme and introducing a lot more of the gender talk and gender expression and freedom and that kind of stuff but i've also seen a lot of videos like that where people are raising their children specifically to be non-binary and it's like it feels like you're pretty much doing the same thing as if you're just raising your child as a boy or a girl it's like well how do you know that they identify as non-binary it's like well we're giving them they them pronouns and they're non-binary it's like well how do you know that they're non-binary just raise them as your kids and when they get older then they would decide what they identify as don't give them a fucking pronoun i mean if you use they them pronouns it's more neutral i guess so you won't have to have he or him or she or her Move your ass, Mario. What is going on, dude? Like, I get it. But at the end of the day, you're choosing a gender for them, which is the exact same thing. Because they think, oh, well, my kids are non-binary. You're advocating to the whole non-binary thing, but it's the same thing you're doing, basically. Yeah, the pronoun makes sense, I guess. I would see, like, the parents purposely buying, like, female or girl clothes for the boys. And the boy clothes for the- like, it's like, come on. Just ask the kid what clothes they want to wear, and let them decide what they want to wear. And just let them wear it. It'll end up becoming a thing, like, just like how when a kid comes out as gay to their parents, and their parents, like, react strongly, like, oh my god. It'd be the same thing, like, if you raise your child as non-binary, and when they become a teenager, they come out as cisgender, and their parents are like, what? No way! We can't accept this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say It's just gonna become that. I mean, I don't think it'll ever be as bad. It probably won't, but it's just funny to think. Yeah, it won't happen, probably. What was it like being gay in Trinidad? It wasn't really like anything, because I never came out in Trinidad, because I was too afraid to. It was basically just me with a few friends that knew that I would only talk to them oh about it, God. and no one else. It's getting to the point where I'm just getting tired of the beginning, and if I don't get a run going very soon, I'm gonna go crazy. Uh, while also trying to ignore my neck pain that is really killing me. I have a bad angle again. I'm gonna get very FUCKING MAD! Why is it wrong? What am I doing wrong, bro? Fuck, dude. It, it is a very thin line between me being completely fine with resetting and me absolutely losing my fucking shit because I can't get out of fucking Jarabee. Oh. 
My my room just got like five degrees hotter after that. Oh my fucking neck, dude! Oh my god, my game. One Mississippi, two. They ask you how you are, you just have to say. What caused it to hurt? Because it shouldn't stay hurting for days on end. Well, I still have a shit pillow, Cerulea, and I think it, the a bad pillow and just overwork is what create caused the pain in the first place. So I'm not doing anything to make it better. That's the problem. Ugh. It just feels like there's no position for me to be in that alleviates the pain. There's not a single position that I could be in. I'm. J it's like a constant, very sore muscle strain feeling from the bottom of my head to my jaws to my entire neck and down my back it's it's insane it's crazy and it just it's non-stop pain it's not going away whatsoever it's like almost unbearable but i'm just trying to like hold on okay low key when i sit with good posture and i raise my head a little bit it kind of like alleviates the stress on my neck which makes fucking sense like if i just do this and keep my head bent over obviously it's gonna be more strain on my neck I mean, it's probably the source of my neck pain in the first place. On Mississippi 2, dude, if I don't get where I could in this run, I'm quitting. What the fu- Just please, 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 let's go, please! Oh my god! Alright. Thank god. <laughs> what the fuck ever, dude. Just get to the star. So, I downloaded Star Revenge 2, The Night of Doom, which is a Super Mario 64 ROM hack that is known for being like top three most difficult ROM hacks ever. I'm very scared to play it, but um, I'm thinking of, I, I wanted to do it tonight, but it was too short notice and I don't think I'm mentally prepared for it. So I want to do it. It's going to be a very unique experience, but I'm definitely probably going to use safe states because what the oh fuck, God. dude? This is not a thing. Why is this happening? Barry Bots gifted a tier one sub to Thunder Rock. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use save states this time because it was impossible last. It's impossible without save states. I'm bored. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna pee all over the place. I'll be right back.